Hello, welcome to Taipei, where we can show you the untethered uh, VR, so wireless VR. From uh, an HTC Vive of the shelf, you usually have a connection to the PC with USB, HDMI and power. And what we've done here is we've removed that need for a cable by adding a module at the back. The module at the back has a uh, Qualcomm Ygig radio and also a display link hardware video decoder. The information from the sensor, the position, is going through USB over the Ygig link to the PC. The PC is then calculating the new scene. Um, the video is encoded on the PC, sent back through Ygig to this module here, doing the video decoding, and is then displayed in the glasses. It's very important in virtual reality to have extremely low latency and, of course, high, high throughput. You want high quality because it's close to your eyes, and you want very low latency because if there's a difference in timing between your ear, the, the, the sensors of your ears, and what you see in your scene, you would get motion sickness. So what we have here at the belt is just a, um, a power pack. We use the standard two, um, power tool pack, battery pack, which makes it easy to replace you know, several times a day if we need. In terms of battery life, we get about two hours, which is the same battery life as the uh, off-the-shelf life controller. So how does it work? We get here the radio I was talking about. You see at the top here a gaming PC and a 60 gigahertz antenna. In the gaming PC you also have a Qualcomm radio, a Ygig radio. And um, so what you have here on the, uh, the head-mounted device is not computing, it's just displaying. So a bit like the normal HTC Vive. There are also possibilities to have other modules where the um, battery would be included. After that, it's up to the person designing the final product to decide what they want to do with it. The display on the television is what I'm seeing myself. So this is my ship that I can move independently and I'm arriving at the big boss of level one. You can see I've done this before. Independently, you can move your head or the ship. That's what makes it very convenient. And because here we're using wireless connection, I can turn six times the same way. I won't entangle myself. So there's no risk of tripping. And then you're thinking, what about the walls? Well, the walls in the game are closer than the real walls. So I will see the walls in my virtual reality before I know the real walls. And we've been demonstrating this for, I would say, about 10 days. And in 10 days, nobody has ever hit the real wall. So you've got multiple applications for that. doesn't need to be necessarily uh, gaming. It could be training. It could be um, you know, trying to fly or it's cheaper than crashing a real helicopter. But also because you're untethered, it makes it more convenient because you don't need a setup with a cable hanging from the, t from the ceiling. It's starting to be a bit busy now, so I'm going to clean up.